Good morning, guys. How are you feeling? It's the next day. I woke up, had a really good night's sleep, to be fair. I feel good. Apparently, you're supposed to feel numbness. Your head is supposed to swell. But for me, I feel no pain. I feel absolutely fine. So I'm really, really happy so far. Um, I am just going to get ready now. I'm going to do my PCR test. I'm going to get some breakfast. And then I think we're going to do some washing of the head, removing of the bandages, which obviously the medical practitioners have to do. But yeah, I'm going to show you the rest of the day. I hope you guys are enjoying the vlog so far. I'll catch you guys in a bit. I know this looks a bit distasteful, but this is from some of the liquid that was injected into my head last night. Obviously, it's going to seep down um, as the days go by. So, um, yeah, this protective layer was actually supposed to go over my pillow. However, um, it didn't seem to work. So I have to shower now. I have to be really careful for the next 10 days to avoid any water touching the transplanted area. Um, these scabs will naturally go uh, by itself. Up until then, I have to make sure that nothing happens. You know, it takes about three days for everything they put, the PRP, the liquids to kind of stabilize. So yeah, I have to be really, really careful. So I'm gonna jump in the shower now and basically try to shower without touching my head and then head to the clinic. In the queue waiting for my PCR test. And then after this, I'm gonna see if I can get some breakfast excited to eat. I realised that I was actually leaking so there's a bit of blood on my white shirt but like i said i didn't bring enough zip or bottom shirt so i'm just gonna manage yeah heading off to get the head clean and the bandages removed Slowly getting used to the look, you know, rocking the board look is what it is. You can see where the new line's about to come. Anyway, guys, I've caught with someone from London. Um, I'm going to go shopping. Like I said, um, Istanbul is actually split into two parts. You've got the Asian part, it's because it's close to the Asian river. And then you've got the Europe part, which is like the main section. So I'm just heading there now. Just catching up with you guys. I am heading to Zolo Center in Istanbul. So apparently that's where all the big stores are, like your Selfridges, your name brands. Just want to get some gifts for my family and for myself. Personally explore the city. So it's actually quite a long journey. It should be about 50 minutes.
is up guys um i just got back to the hotel pretty tired i've got my flight quite early uh, tomorrow in the afternoon and then they're gonna do a wash of their head so i'm gonna go from the hotel to the clinic to the airport so i'm wrapping up for today guys i'm gonna get some water some fluids and fruit and take any required medication just to um, avoid more swelling because you can see my forehead looks quite um quite big right now but yeah i'll catch you guys tomorrow Good morning, you lovely people. This is the update. This is day three. Don't know if you can notice, but there's still a bit more swelling. Um, showering is quite a challenge. I have to be super careful because no water can touch my head. It's absolutely fine in Turkey. I'm in a hotel. I'm pretty isolated. However, I've got to make sure when I get back to England, rain, i got to be careful of. Just anyone touching my head, nothing can touch the fibres that been inserted into my hair are settling and they need about 10 days before it can get in contact to any water and I have to make sure I sleep 45 degrees. I've actually got used to it. Um, I've been so tired, it's been absolutely fine. But it's the last day. I'm going for the wash part, which I'm excited to make sure it's all clean and ready. I'm gonna ask them a ton of questions because once I step on the plane, it's over. Um, it's up to me to make sure my aftercare is the best. But they've assured me that my head, because there's not that many grafts inserted, they believe my recovery is going to be pretty good. Like I said, it was just bringing the hairline forward and sorting out the edges. I didn't suffer any balding. And most people that come to them have more um, extreme balding. Anyway, guys, I'm going to head for some breakfast. But yeah, this is the update. Catch you guys in a bit. at the airport a lot of people are saying it doesn't look too bad um, for me my hair looks swollen but yeah just trying to locate which terminal i should head to so i can get on my plane i met a really really interesting couple um, actually a professional footballer i'm not going to mention his name but on my flight so yeah I'm looking forward to seeing his results as well but, yeah gonna get ready board my plane and head back to england peace out After a bit of a nightmare we made it on the plane my head looked absolutely huge but yeah just glad to make it it was a bit of a rush had to fill last minute forms but we're here we're gonna make it in time so yeah you guys enjoy laughing at my head i'll catch you on the other side whoa my head is huge look at the swelling guys so this is the anesthetic liquid um obviously i've been trying to get content for you guys so i haven't had my head up and it's obviously swollen just need to put some ice i said it's going to be like this for a couple of days hope you've enjoyed the video um i've given you an in-depth view of, of a hair transplant I've shown you my whole personal journey and yeah guys please like comment subscribe i'm looking for 500 likes and i will show you some developments i'm looking forward to the results it's your boy the life of soul aka the bodybuilding banker aka the guy with a new hairline and i'll catch you guys in a bit peace